Olympus just launched a new firmware for four cameras. And in this video I will tell you what those cameras are and what are the new features. Pretty exciting stuff coming up. Let's get straight into the business. The first one is a better stability for video shooting. And this is especially for when you are panning. And panning is of course when you moving your camera like this and, and you know follow something. And it's sometimes hard for the image stabilizer not to stabilize the image this way. It only does it this way when you're panning and this will be improved. And that's a very big thing for video shooters. And the cameras that got this upgrade was EM1X, EM1 Mark III, EM1 Mark II and EM5 Mark III. So four cameras got better panning or, or the image stabilizer handles panning better when doing video. And that's a good thing. New lenses supported in focus stacking. The new 150 to 400 millimeter lens and the 100 and 400 millimeter lens are both compatible with focus stacking. And now the same four bodies that got the better image stabilizing in video will support focus stacking with these two new lenses. Both of these long telephoto lenses support focus stacking. And that's a very good thing because they are very good in close-up photography too, because you can focus real close with both of these. And having focus stacking is a big thing because then you can have or add the depth of field in your macro or close-up photography. And these two lenses are now supported by these four cameras. Another very good improvement in Olympus cameras lineup. And the third one is focus indicator display. This one comes to EM1X and EM1 Mark III. When doing manual focus, you have no way of knowing where the focus is between uh, the closest and in infinity. But with this new display, it's a lot easier to kind of see where your focus is when it comes to uh, between the, uh, uh, what do you call the closest uh, focusing distance versus infinity. This helps doing manual focus. And I don't know, how much do you do manual focusing? Because I use manual focus quite a lot. And of course, with the lenses that have MF clutch, it's, it's really easy to, to use manual focus. But if you don't have lenses that have manual, uh, I mean the MF clutch, you can also assign manual focus to a function button. But please tell me in the comments down below how much you use manual focus. And is this something that you might need in your camera? But as I said, it's only EM1, uh, EM1X and EM1 Mark III. And this could have been in more cameras, but I think this is something that Olympus wants to differentiate the cameras from each other so that they are not too overlapping and you don't get the same features in every camera. But uh, I would like it to have on, on all cameras because I don't think this is anything to do with, uh, with processing power. I think this could have been done to all the Olympus cameras and maybe they will in the future, I don't know. And then another video feature improvement. EM1X and EM1 Mark III are able to shoot ProRes RAW with Atomos Ninja 5 recorder. And this is really big news for, for those who use this, uh, Olymp or these Olympus cameras for video. It, it's about like the same thing as you if, shooting JPEG or shooting RAW. It's, it's the same thing. The ProRes RAW video is 12-bit and the H264, which is the normal uh, recording that you can record internally in the camera is only 8-bit. So there is a huge difference. And what it means is that you have a lot more information to uh, adjust the colors and do color grading. And that is a really huge thing, at least for me, because I do some client videos and uh, I can use that uh, better image quality with those. For my YouTube channel, I think it's an overkill. I think the H.264 is, is totally fine with, with uh, doing these YouTube videos because the file sizes are huge. But as I said, this only works with Atomos Ninja 5 recorder. And I will have a separate video about this feature. I've already filmed it a bit, so it, it's going to be in the near future because I'm really excited about this improvement in video quality. And then there is one improvement that is only with EM1X. It's the bird recognition algorithm. When EM1X was launched 2019 in January, the big thing in, in it was the uh, subject recognition AF. 
and by the time it was released it, it had motorsports and then it had uh, trains and airplanes and they said that they will improve this and now yes they did now we have birds I think this is a really big thing and I'm not a bird photographer but I went out the other day with the M1X and the 40 to 150 millimeter f2.8 Pro zoom lens and tried how it works. You know, it's the time that we don't have very exotic or not very many birds flying around, mostly seagulls and crows that we can see. Now, I went downtown Helsinki by the market square where I know that there are a lot of seagulls usually, and yes, they were, and they were flying around a bit. And I took 270 images, birds in flight, and only 20 were out of focus. So it's 93% accuracy or 93% of the images were uh, tacked sharp. And I think that's a pretty astonishing result for a novice in bird photography like me. And among the 20, there were some that were really uh, good for social media. So what I would call a social media sharp photographs. I will have a dedicated video about this too coming up it's already in the making and I think this is something that all bird photographers should be really really excited about because it makes it so much easier and one particular thing is really easy if the bird is like this and then the bird turns its head it will immediately stick on the eye of the bird the autofocus I mean and if you're fast enough you can grab it and it will be focused in the eye not in the tail feathers and that's really really good and that will improve and help many of us who are not that experienced with bird photography but as I said I will have a dedicated video about this well I will uh, talk a bit more about it and then the conclusion here is the list and the cameras that got a firmware upgrade these upgrades will be available on 3rd of December this year so in a couple of weeks I always advise people to have the latest firmware in their camera so then you have all the features that are available and if you have an older firmware you can go straight up to the newest one so you don't have to uh, upgrade all the ones that has, uh, are between you can go to the, to the newest one straight away and I have a video about how to upgrade your firmware and I, I'll put a link in the description of this video and also some cameras I could not find which ones are also compatible with the upgrade from OI Share app. You can find it from here in the app. Well, all in all, I think this was a really good upgrade for many cameras, especially M1X and M1 Mark III with the ProRes RAW video uh, capabilities, because uh, that is to be honest, that is really huge. And, and ProRes RAW has been a big thing uh, all other manufacturers have have it also or most of them at least and now I'm really glad Olympus has it too because that will improve the ability to color grade your footage quite a bit because 8-bit versus 12-bit is is huge but the downside is that as I said the, the file size is huge that will make it a less usable in YouTube videos but on the other hand it's it's an overkill for YouTube videos but for client work that could be a really really good thing and then the bird recognition algorithm is is really huge and the way it worked I was as I said earlier I was really astonished how good it was it, it's just something that uh, blows blows my mind because I'm not a bird photographer if you can you know have the bird in the frame it will focus and you will nail the shot the only thing is that you have to keep it in the frame and be fast enough to uh, to, uh, to uh, click the shutter button and it also works with uh, pro uh, <laughs> pro res no, it work it also works with pro capture which is a big thing i did not try that yet but uh, i will when when i have the dedicated video about the bird algorithm uh, published i'm very happy that olympus is improving their cameras with new firmware every now and then and i think this one was a major in many ways and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell for getting the notifications when I uh, post a new video. And uh, also comment, what do you think about these new firmware up upgrades? What is the one that you're more ex most excited about? Please let me know in the comments down below. And here are the videos about 
The first one is from for the about the 150 to 400 millimeter f4.5 uh, pro zoom lens, and the other one is how to upgrade your firmware. But hey, thanks for watching, and bye for now.